that was home to our Iowa headquarters in 2008. I was just inside and it brought back a whole lot of memories. This is where some of the first young people who joined our campaign set up shop. Willing to work for little pay and less sleep because they believed that people who love their country can change it. This was where so many of you who shared that belief came to help. You know when the heat didn't work for the first week or so? <laughs> some of you brought hats and gloves for the stay. These poor kids, they weren't prepared. When the walls inside were bare, one of you painted a mural to lift everybody's spirits. When we had a steak fry to march to. When we had a JJ dinner to fire up. You brought your neighbors and you made homemade signs. When we had calls to make, teachers and nurses showed up after work, already bone tired, but staying anyway, late into the night. And you welcomed me and Michelle into your homes. And you picked us up when we needed a lift. And your faces gave me new hope for this country's future. And your stories filled me with resolve to fight for you every single day I set foot in the Oval Office. You inspired us. And what I, I want to take you this opportunity to say one thing to all the young people and not so young people who have given so much to this campaign over the years. Those of you who haven't done this just for me but for each other, for a laid off family member, for a sick child, for a fallen friend, to all of you who have lived and breathed the hard work of change, I want to thank you. You took this campaign and you made it your own and you organized yourself block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, county by county, starting a movement that spread across the country, a movement made up of young and old and rich and poor and black and white, Latino, Asian, Native American. challenges would come when we began this journey. We didn't know how deep the crisis would years. turn out. But we knew we would get through those challenges the same way this nation always has. With that determined, unconquerable American spirit that says, no matter how bad the storm gets, no matter how tough the times are, we're all in this together. We rise or fall as one nation and as one people. I can't feel my hand. <laughs> That's the spirit uh. of the parents through the trials and tribulations for the last four years. In 2008, we were in the middle of two wars and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. And today, our businesses have created nearly five and a half million new jobs. The American auto industry is back. Home values are on the rise. We're less dependent on foreign oil than any time in the last...